Hey everyone, Tony from TN3 d Studios and welcome back to the channel. So VRA 7 for 3ds Max has been released with tons of new features. Obviously, once things are released in 3ds Max, it doesn't take long for the beta rollout and to be released in VRA for SketchUp. We're going to list all of the features and see what we can expect. As always, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification. This is the easiest way to support the growth of the channel and so you don't miss the next time we drop a new video. Let's get started. So feature number one is Gaussian splatting. Now, this is a method for creating 3D models or objects out of video clips or sequence of images or single frames. So what this method does, it combines pictures from different angles into a 3D object or model, which you can then explore in 3D space. And as a result, you get this lifelike, very detailed 3D environment that blends well with your 3D model. And from what we see on the example, this is likely captured from drone footage or images. And it almost looks like a piece from Google Earth. But nonetheless, this is a much faster way to create detailed environment than if you were to model this traditionally. Now, this is also very new to me. This is the first time I'm hearing about Gaussian splatting. So I'm very curious to see what makes this so special because it is definitely a unique feature in V-Ray 7. Now, will this make it into V-Ray for SketchUp? I'm going to say yes, this could obviously make it has a special V-Ray object because V-Ray for SketchUp has released a couple of V-Ray objects that are unique to its platform. So I can totally see this make it. If it doesn't, no loss, but if it does, we have a lot more to be happy about. So next on the list, we have a couple of improvements in the V-Ray frame buffer, starting with the polygon region render. Before we used to have the rectangular option has a region render. So now with the polygon render region, you can create a more custom shape around the objects that you want to re-render. Now we've all made the mistake of having a floating object somewhere in your scene and you notice these things once your render is finished. Well, now this makes it a little bit easier for you to select each one of those regions and re-render all at once. Next, we have vignetting layer. The vignette effect, of course, darkens or brightens the outer edge of your render to keep the focus on a specific object. So this is another Photoshop feature that is made it into the V-Ray frame buffer. You can easily adjust the size, feather, and smooth parameters along with other settings. And I'm all in for features that make post-production a little bit easier inside the V-Ray frame buffer. And last in the very frame buffer, we have color correction presets. These are pre-made settings that will adjust the color, brightness, contrast, and tones of your renders. And you can add them on top of your settings non-destructively. So this is a great time saver and at the same time will help keep a consistent look across all of your renders. So, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of these three features in the very frame buffer for SketchUp. Next, we have Firefly removal. Now, Firefly are artifacts you definitely don't want in your renders. Now, in most cases, Firefly will appear as an overexposed bright pixels that are scattered all over your render. Now, to get rid of Fireflies, you would have to adjust a couple of render settings, and this could be a little bit time consuming. So I am glad to see that they've reduced this workflow into something that can be done faster. Now, V-Ray Luminaire is a new type of light object that provides more efficient and accurate lighting in your scene. So in your Chaos Cosmo library, you will find these light fixtures that are tagged as Luminaire, which will include a new lighting object that supports a VLW file. Now, supposedly, this new lighting type will give you a better result than the traditional V-Ray lights. Next, we have the improved sun and sky system, which now supports nautical twilight. Now, nautical twilight is defined by how low the sun is below the horizon and still provide that golden hour sunlight effect to the sky. With these settings, we are likely to create some of the best sunrise and sunsets without the need for HDRI and obviously more accurate sky animation. Now, in my opinion, this will be an easy inclusion into the viewer for SketchUp platform, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Next, we have the Cater Instance Brush. Now, this tool allows you to paint instances directly into your scene. I think this is very possible in Vero for SketchUp since we already have the scatter object, but it's a pretty handy feature that allows you to scatter objects into your scene in more creative ways with more precision. 
Now on top of this, we also have scattered distribution maps. These are pattern style that will affect the density of the scattered object. As you can see from this example, the black and white parts of the patterns define how the assets are scattered in your model. Now, obviously, there are a lot more features that we could get into that are very specific to 3ds Max. For example, we have the Chaos Profiler, which will determine how long different components of the scene took to render. This is something that will be great to see in v for SketchUp. I won't be mad if it doesn't make it, but be extremely surprised if it does. V-Ray time to first frame is something that we've always seen consistent across every platform. And Chaos Cloud Virtual Tour. It would be nice if we could get access to it from directly from v for SketchUp and compose it together in a way that we can share with the client. So all of these are amazing features that we're all looking forward to see in v for SketchUp. Also, V-Ray Lister and Fast Scene Export, these are all things in the back end that we would love to see improvements on. And of course, there are many other features like Caustics, which is now supported in GPU rendering, as well as variety of assets in the Chaos Cosmo library. So be sure to check the full list in the Chaos website. The link will be in the description. So not sure when V-Ray for SketchUp will be released. Be sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates on that regards. And comment down below what you think of V-Ray 7 for 3ds max and all the features that are out and which ones are you excited about to see in v for sketchup as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time